Chelsea has always taken the better of him. Now, in the past, Turgot tried to take off early and burn off Gebre Selassie. It hasn't worked. Now he's trying a, a different tactic, delaying. I don't know if this tactic could work because Gebre Selassie can run a mile in just around three minutes and 50 seconds. Three Kenyans, two Ethiopians in that lead group. The Americans, Med Kofleski and Abdi Abdurrahman, are back out of it, although Abdurrahman did briefly lead for a lap or so. And they're picking up the pace, but just gradually, they just ran a 64-second last lap. And when they come to the finish line, they'll have two laps to go, half a mile. And this is really a large group for just a half a mile. Perhaps because Geber Selassie has had problems with his uh, Achilles tendon and is a little short on training, he wants to start the kick as late as possible. And two laps playing into his hands. Two laps to go. Career still leads. Geber Selassie. Turgot looms in third. Then Mezagebu and Ivute. Three Kenyans, two Ethiopians about to lap a slower runner. And what Geber Selassie has is acceleration. He'll pop out there, get 10 yards on Turgot. Then Turgot starts to chase him. The gap doesn't grow, but Turgot never catches him at the finish line. We'll see if it's different. Turgot having some words with the Ethiopian behind him, maybe saying, stop stepping on my foot. <laughs> well, Career still leads Geber Selassie, and Turgot is in there third. Career keeps stealing a peek behind him every now and then. And guess what? Geber Selassie is still there. It's not man-to-man -man coverage, but it is three Kenyans to two Ethiopians. Career still in front. Geber Selassie still is second. Turgot remains in third. And here comes the final lap in the 10,000-meter final. I don't expect this to be too gentlemanly when it starts. Career has the lead, but maybe the best distance runner of all time, Haile Geber Selassie, is right on his heels. Paul Turgot, Geber Selassie's old rival, is to the inside third, along with Mori Gebu of Ethiopia. I don't know how they can do this. That's it. That's what Turgot has to do. Be the first one to go. So Turgot gets the lead. Geber Selassie now in second. The two old rivals battling once again in Atlanta. Gebra Selassie took the gold, Turgot the silver. Right now, Turgot has the advantage as they turn for home. It's a sprint to the finish after 10,000 meters. Paul Turgot, Holly Gebra Selassie. Turgot still has the advantage. Gebra Selassie trying to make one desperate last move. Gebra Selassie up on the outside. Here they come to the finish. Gebra Selassie leads and wins. is one for the ages. It was apparent in the middle of the turn that Gebra Selassie was not right. He wasn't coordinated. He has missed too much training. But the guy who hasn't lost a 10,000 meter race since 1993 against the greatest cross country runner of all time somehow found the willpower to catch him. This is not the Gebra Selassie we're used to seeing. He's really using his arms and not quite as coordinated as quick as possible. This is the best race Turgot has ever given him. And that looked like the 100 meters. <laughs> but what heart. Haile Gebra Selassie, sore Achilles, a desperate stretch run with Turgot up to the challenge. And just in the final centimeters, Gebra Selassie with a gutsy win. Wow, what a race after 10,000 meters, and you knew it would come down to the two old runners. It was such a great race that Gab had to watch it himself.